Have you seen the front cover of Metro? With, no. him a, with him in a dress? Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> it's quite risque, isn't it? It is good. It is good. <laughs> Hi, Johnny boy. I'm coming to Pots. We bumped into John Banks last month while down at the Rob Roy Tavern as it was being relocated. I just bought a new flip video recorder. I think he was expecting a big important question, but I teased him and said, who chose your dress for the front cover of Metro? He laughed, took it in good humour. He smirked and said, you know we didn't actually put on the dresses, they photoshopped us. But when I got home, I discovered I hadn't pressed the record button. I had had what they call a senior moment. So I missed a great opportunity for PNTV, Ponsonby News TV. John, I, I don't know, if, have we ever shown you this card that um, Joe and I produced when we worked at Mayo Realty with Colin Mayo? No, I haven't, have not seen that. Interesting. But when you look here, there's Trish Lafferty, who's obviously with Callens now, yes. and there's Rachel. You know Rachel from um, Dear Reader? Yes. There's Joe, and there's me. I've always admired John Wills, the owner of Custom Residential, who has run his business for almost two years. His book, Wages Don't Work, will inspire anyone considering a career in real estate who may have been put off by bad press. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. I love to start my day early with a hot bath and a walk in Western Springs with my two Scotties. It really sets me up for the day. Oh, are you? Oh, there he is. How is he? He's, he's not very well. No, I know, yes. He's not very well. It's no fun having a six Scotty, as we have with Tiger, who's been recently diagnosed with liver disease. Oh, that's not that it's no fun, he told me, because he never touched a drop of alcohol in his life. One of the things that I do to help keep myself sane is regular Ayurvedic massage and Shirodara at Planet Ayurveda and more recently at their new spa, Spa Ayurda, which has opened um, opposite Rocket Kitchen on Ponsonby Road. I've been looking forward to this all week, Chad. Mm, excellent. One of the things that I love to do each day is to have a chat with Michelle Buchanan, the Ponsonby-based numerologist. Just tell us how many cakes you're going to eat today. <laughs> oh, how many cakes? I'm going to eat one of everything and then another one of everything, and then another one of everything. <laughs> Michelle invited us to her mum's for morning tea um, last month, and we had such a lot of fun. And what about you, Jo? Oh, I'm definitely going to eat one of everything. <laughs> Michelle is a great inspiration, and she revealed the meaning of the number 21. 21 is actually a very special number. Maybe that's one of the reasons why, as in people, we celebrate the 21st birthday so much. Uh, the number 21 itself breaks down to a 3, because 2 plus 1 equals 3. And the 3 itself is all about communication and expression and creativity. So that means that this is a wonderful time for you for celebrations. It's also a great time to get information out there because the three represents information and communication. In the past seven years since I've been running Ponsonby News, we've had some amazing covers. We've been using Ono Canuvas, a Dutchman, who has created every month a different look for us with, with our covers, which have become um, talked about all over Auckland. Just to think, when I started the Ponsonby Community Newsletter, I didn't even have a mobile phone. And now it's available as an iPad app. Absolutely. <laughs> Look at this. How sophisticated <laughs> is that, <laughs> Mr. Lynch? <laughs> it looks delicious. I'm okay. glad you like it. Oh, and there's our mayoral candidates. <laughs> John and Len. Which one of those will be consigned to history this weekend, next weekend. The problem with the glue pot was that um, as Ponsonby became gentrified, uh, the oldies left and disappeared, mm. and you could have fired a shotgun through the main bar uh, most days and not hit anyone. 
Mm. And so the breweries have no uh, option but to close it down. But it was a very sad time. We always call Three Lamps Ponsonby High Street, which it is to us. There are banks, New Zealand Post, hairdressers and beauty therapists, bookshops and stationers, various gift stores, several cafes and restaurants. There are lawyers, opticians, real estate agencies, shoe repairs and photographers. New businesses are always springing up in Ponsonby. The latest one, of course, is Douglas and Beck, who've just opened directly opposite the Lees Institute. And I met with Rebecca Snelling last week and asked her to tell me a little bit about her new business. I'm Rebecca from Douglas and Beck, and my partner Paul and I are so pleased to be in Ponsonby. Hi. We've both worked in Ponsonby before over the years. Paul worked on Douglas Street at Radar Creative and I worked at Prago and years ago at SPQR. So it's wow. wonderful to be back in the community. But I'd love you to all come and visit us here at Douglas and Beck and see our beautiful cobbitable wares that we have in Ooh. store. There can't be many people who wouldn't recognise the old Ponsonby Post Office building although it's been a long time since you could actually buy stamps in the building. Built in 1911 and transformed in 2004 by Lane and Greer Stevens, it's now home to the Skin Institute on the first floor. But on the ground floor, of course, we have the Ponsonby Belgium Beer Cafe, which is a great place to meet friends and enjoy a drink or some food. We talked to Bart Mule, the manager of the Ponsonby Belgian Beer Cafe. Well, I started at the Ponsonby Belgian Beer Cafe just over a year ago now, so July last year was, uh, was when I started here. What is it about this place that you think people like most? Uh, well, there's two, uh, two very strong attractions. The interior decoration um, uh, inside, uh, the venue itself, the, the building is just amazing. It's such an iconic uh, Ponsonby building. Uh, we're sitting out here on the courtyard, it's a great day, um, so that it's, in itself has, a, has an attraction. Hey, um, Andrew, who's coming here today? Mark Ellis. Have you heard of him? No. I think he was on TV once, I might have played sport. Oh, okay. Oh, that Mark Ellis. Yeah, and he's decided to insult us all. Um, apparently I'm a ginger and I'm a finkel. And what, what is he coming for today? <laughs> This thing he's written with his mate Charlie. Right. And he stereotypes or try to prototype, describes us Kiwi blokes. Ah. Mark Ellis is a St Mary's Bay local and I talked to him at Dimmock's in Three Lamps as he signed copies of his new book, Goodfellas, A Guide to Kiwi Blokes, which he's written jointly with Charlie Hadrill. We know what is the best part of town, don't we? Clearly, well, you can get around wearing a pair of jeans and a shirt, mm. and uh, you know people don't think anything less of you. Whereas if you get over that other side of town, you've got to you've got to behave in a certain way, exactly, don't you? Yeah. It's nice and uh, relaxed around here. Yeah, absolutely. I was just saying the Meredith. Very inclusive people. You know, it doesn't matter what walk of life you're from. Yeah, you're part of the community. Mm. It's actually yeah. a really lovely community. Feel, it's, so. it's the best community oh, in well, Auckland. It's a cracker. Is this your first book? Um, no, it's uh, third, but it's the first one that um, I've sort of written with Charlie, you know, so okay. um, the others were written by other people. Thanks. <laughs> and um, how long did it take you to put it together? Um, it took about 18 months. About 18 months? Yeah, we uh, sort of uh, catch up every couple of weeks and grab a, grab a beer or two and write down a few of the characters and have a bit of fun with things and yeah, it's been a bit of fun. Um, Max wants one from the dad, from, okay. from Max, Mark oh, and Charlie. Sweet as. I'm assuming it's a Father's Day, but... <laughs> no, it's been a lot of fun. No, don't want that. A few lessons learnt and... Uh, Good on you. Yeah, no, it's been great.